Hey, what's up? Welcome. Uh, let me check. Okay. So, welcome everybody. Uh, tonight, Friday the 14th, July the 14th, 2023. It's 8:10 p.m. Uh, in Colombia. So, I want to welcome everyone. Uh, this is our very first live class. The last week. Uh, we wouldn't be, uh, we weren't, uh, we weren't able to have class because I'm having a lot of issues with my internet connection. Gladly, uh, that's not the case tonight. And um, I also want to tell you that um, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to have a new ISP provider. So that's uh, the idea is for us to be able to have live classes at least at least one every week so this is our very first class and tonight what we're going to do is uh, we're going to work and practice uh, the conjugation of regular verbs in spanish that's pretty much one of the most difficult things that we have to face when when we want to learn spanish because you as uh, english speakers it's very easy when it comes to verb conjugation because basically verbs won't change uh, depending on the on the pronoun on the subject in Spanish that's that's what happens there are different conjugations based on uh, whomever is um, conjugating uh, whomever the subject is and uh, we have rules for that of course I have a class uh, in which I explain uh, what's what? What are the rules for uh, depending on the on the on the tenses for verb conjugation? And what we're going to do is uh, t tonight is we're going to practice these rules using some basic verbs. So what I've done is let me show you here real quick. Give me just one second. What I have here is I have is this uh, day one. Uh, I have 56 of the most used regular verbs in Spanish. So, what's the idea? The idea is to start um, practicing the verb conjugation rules for regular verbs using, of course, these 56 regular verbs. We're going to have um, to, to, to build basic sentences because right now the idea is for us to get used to the conjugation that's basically it and the rules the rules are, are pretty much easy and as I told you before I have here the, the table with the rules the rules depend uh, it depends on on the the verb and of course the subject so in Spanish we have um, the infinitive form for the verbs and it can be the ar, er or ir ending let's say Comer, it's a verb that's, that ends in er. You see, on, on the second column here. And um, mirar, it's a verb that uh, in its infinitive form, it ends in ar. Or vivir, it's a verb that ends in ir. So we have, in Spanish, we have the infinitive form and we have the conjugated form. In English... We have the infinitive form, a base form, and a conjugated form. Infinitive form is to play, to go, to run, to walk, to live, to smile, to teach, to learn, to study. The base form is without the two, study, walk, run, smile. And of course, the conjugated, uh, the conjugated form is uh, smiled, running, and so on. In Spanish, we just have infinitive form and the conjugated form. And we have three different endings for the verbs for the, uh, in, in the infinitive form, ar, er, ir. So, these are the rules for simple present, presente simple. And depending on the ending of the verb, when it's um, in its uh, infinitive form, we have to change this. Remember, if you have if you have uh, already studied the video, if you have uh, seen the video, uh, remember that the verb has the root and the ending. So abrir 
is a verb that ends in ir, and the root is abr, abr, abr. Agarrar, it's a verb that ends in ar. The root is agarr. So the root of the verb is the part that it's behind the ar, er, ir, ending in the infinitive form. Remember that if you are the subscriber, you can use the chat, the chat window. If you have questions, please feel free to uh, ask any question related to what we're going to do to, tonight. And um, if perhaps something is wrong here, like uh, you're missing something or the audio is not working properly, there might be a little hum in the background. And this is because tonight it's kind of hot. And I have my fan on, so sorry. Um, I hope that's not going to be an issue. And we are going to start conjugating verbs. So let's start with this one, with abrir. Abrir in, in English is to open, right? That's the, that's the meaning. That's the translation, basically. And... We're going to mark here in red the root of the verb. We know it's abrir, right? And according to the table that we have, we have that table there, for ir, for yo, it has, it has an ending in o, for tú, uh, for usted, él, ella, nosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes, and vosotros. So let's start with yo. Yo, which means I, yo abro, yo abro una carta. We're going to try and, and start with basic sentences, with very, very basic sentences. And once again, we're going to focus on the conjugation for each one of the subjects. So I say yo abro, yo abro. Can you see how it works depending on the table? Let's say tú. We use to, remember, we use to in Spanish for you in singular. And especially, let's say here in Latin America and Colombia, we use that if we are close to the person, if we feel comfortable, like we are close friends or if it's a close relationship. We say tú, right? And it's a, it, it is to abares. Can you see? how the ending of the verb changes depending on the subject according to that table this table that i have here you see the table check for the for the column uh that that matches the verb ending the verb ending in this case abrir the verb ends in ir right and yo abro tu abres tu abres la puerta él, él abre su ventana. Very basic sentences in the form subject, verb, subject, subject, verb, object. Okay. Ella abre su corazón. This is in, in a, um, like a poetic form, right? It's not that she's going to open her heart. Well, not, not, not quite. Um, abre sus alas. And we're going to go real quick in, in this one. Abre belongs to it. It. Which in Spanish we don't have. We, we could say ello or sometimes eso. But not quite. In Spanish we basically never translate it. The pronoun it when it's uh, a subject never basically never so here it will be it uh, in in a moment i'm gonna uh, have uh, the translation here for you and some other stuff that it's very interesting and we need to learn here uh, nosotros nosotros abrimos abrimos can you see how it works nosotros abrimos eh, el libro nosotros abrimos el libro and the last one ellos abren la caja. Of course, we're missing 
two more. We are missing, well, actually three. We are missing usted, which is also you for singular, but only when, when in, in Colombia, let's say, when we are not close to, to the other person. Let's say I find somebody, uh, let's say, at the bank, I don't know who he is, and I say, usted, because I don't... I, I could say tú, but it's more likely to say usted, ¿ok? Usted abre, usted abre la puerta. And the plural form, ustedes, ustedes abren la puerta. Same thing. In Spain, for Spanish from Spain, vosotros abrís la puerta. Okay, and we have here all the conjugations in simple present tense for all of the subjects, the pronouns. Um, for yo, we have for yo, which is I, and the ending of the verb in the in the um, infinitive form is ir, I R, ir. So yo abro, tú abres. Usted abre, él abre, ella abre, nosotros abrimos, ellos abren, ellas abren, ustedes abren, vosotros abrís. Oh, one more thing. For ellos, because in Spanish we, we have gender differences in the language. That's what it is. We say ellas, ellos, they, if it's male, ellas, if it's female. But it's exactly the same, abren. It's exactly the same. Ellas abren la caja. It's, it's exactly the same. So here we have the conjugations in the simple present tense for all of the pronouns. It's pretty much easy. Of course. This is, yo abro una carta, I open a letter, tú abres la puerta, you open the door, usted abre la puerta, you open the door, ustedes abren la puerta, you open the door, vosotros abrís la puerta, you open the door. Exactly the same. It's basically the same. Él abre la puerta, él abre su ventana. He opens his window. Ella abre su corazón. She opens her heart. Abre sus alas. It opens its wings. Nosotros abrimos el libro. We open the book. Ellos abren la caja. They open the box. Ellas abren la caja. They open the box. Exactly the same. Now, this is very interesting. And this is something that happens a lot in Spanish. I can just say abro la caja. I can say that. I can say abres la caja. It's it's totally fine. In fact, we do this a lot. The reason why is the conjugation of the verb, it's closely related to the noun itself. Can you see how abro is only for I, for yo? That means that because of that, when I say abro, I already know I'm talking about yo. Abro la caja. So that's the reason why a lot of times you're not going to see, as opposed uh, as it is in English, uh, you're not going to find the subject or the pronoun in the sentence because the verb conjugation already implies who is uh, conjugating the verb. Right? So, abro la caja, yo abro la caja. Abres la caja, tú abres la caja. Abre la puerta. Here with abre can be usted, el, ella. Can be any of those three. But nevertheless, in context, we already know whether it is usted, el, o ella. Because if I'm looking at if I'm looking at you and I'm saying abre la puerta, I know it is you. If if I'm looking at you and there's somebody else and I say abre la puerta. I, we know we are saying he opens the door. Él abre la puerta. You know, this is this is this is. I would say this is the only 
kind of really tricky part that we have to deal with uh, in Spanish when it comes to verb conjugation because of that. But it's a matter of practice. My, my recommendation is to first get used to the rules with different verbs, different sentences, trying to, to, to build the sentences also without the nouns, I mean without the subjects, sorry, and practice that a lot. Get used to that and you will see that you get, you get, you get the, um, the sense of the, of the conjugation. I know we have um, a regular verbs, which is pretty much hard, but let's start little by little. And we, right now we are starting with the 56th of the most used regular verbs in Spanish. One of them being abrir, to open. Um, most likely uh, we're not gonna be able to uh, do all of the exercises in one class so most likely this is going to be part one because i don't want to spend more than an hour here with 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 you not because i don't want to but because i we need to go slowly and get used to that i'm i'm thinking that you are basic level i don't know perhaps you're mm, intermediate or advanced level in spanish but let's start by thinking uh, that you are on the basic level. So, do you have questions so far? Please let me know. If, if you have questions, please give me some feedback. If this is uh, understandable, um, if I'm being clear, please let me know, okay? So, usted abre la puerta, abre la puerta. Ustedes abren la puerta, abren la puerta. Vosotros abrís la puerta, abrís la puerta. Él abre su ventana, abre su ventana. Ella abre su corazón, abre su corazón, abre sus alas. Nosotros abrimos el libro, abrimos el libro. Ellos abren la caja, ellas abren la caja, abren la caja. Ok, so, let's move to the second verb. In this case, we have here agarrar. Agarrar means to grab, but also can be translated as to catch, maybe, because I can say I'm going to catch uh, a, a train. Voy a agarrar el tren. I can say that. I'm going to grab something. Voy a agarrar. So um, we can see that we have a few, um, a few different uh, instances would be for the verb. I'm sorry if, if at any point my English is uh, broken. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do my best here. Okay. Agarró el tren. Agregó. No. Agregó no. Uh, Zerina. Ar agarró. Agregó means to add. Agregar. It's a different verb. This verb is agarrar. To catch. To grab. Right? So, let's say. Yo agarro. Yo agarro. Remember. Agarrar. If you, if you check this table. The table here. The first of the three cones is the one that we're going to use because is the one that matches verbs ending in uh, the infinitive form of the regular verb ending in AR, AR, <laughs> AR. Uh, let me check. It would be like here, this one. First column, let, let me check. First column, I'm trying to do this. Okay, first column second column third column okay so we right now agarrar and in ar ar agarrar agarrar so we're 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 gonna use this one agarrar this column so yo agarro let's let's see that the root of the verb is this one agar agar yo agarro el lapis Yo agarro el lápiz. Tú agarras eh, un cuaderno. Right? Eh, él agarra el teléfono. 
right? Um, ella agarra su maleta. Agarra el hueso. It, right? Remember, we don't have a pronoun that we use in a regular way uh, as the noun, as the pronoun it. In, in English, in Spanish, we don't say anything. Uh, for nosotros. Nosotros agarramos su mano. Uh, and for ellos, and for ellos, they, ellos agarran las llaves. You see how it works? Yo agarro, tú agarras, él agarra, ella agarra, agarra, nosotros agarramos, ellos agarran. And once again, we of course, we have usted agarra, usted agarra el cuaderno, eh, ustedes agarran el cuaderno, or if we were in Spain, vosotros agarráis el cuaderno, and for, eh, oops, sorry, oops, sorry, whoa, sorry, and for Ella agarra las llaves. Serena, thanks for, for, for being there and commenting. I really appreciate that. And thanks all of the other uh, users that are watching this video right now live. During this live um, transmi uh, broadcasting live streaming class. Sorry. And of course, thanks to all of those who are watching this video later because I'm going to leave this video as part of the live streaming videos playlist on this channel. So, yo agarro el lápiz. Once again, agarro el lápiz. Tú agarras un cuaderno. Yo agarro el lápiz. I grab the pencil. Tú agarras un cuaderno. You grab a notebook. Usted agarra un cuaderno. O el cua uh, bueno, aquí sería un. Sorry. Un, un, whoops, what the heck, un, un, okay, my pleasure, my pleasure, ustedes agarran un cuerno, you grab a book, well, a notebook, vosotros agarráis un cuerno, you grab a notebook, those four are basically the same, él agarra el teléfono, he grabs the phone, ella agarra su maleta, she grabs her suitcase, agarra el hueso, it grabs the bone, nosotros agarramos su mano, we grab her hand, ellos agarran las llaves, they grab the keys, ellas, ellas agarran las llaves, they grab the key. And as you can see, conjugation is basically using this column, right? The first column, verbs ending in ar in its infinitive form and changing whatever it's adding that ending, changing the ar for whatever um, uh, ending is based on this table. I know this is kind of uh, uh, time consuming. It's uh, slow, but we need to start little by little, baby steps. I know that if we go and practice this on a daily basis, in a matter of one month, we have, a, uh, we have the, the, the sense of conjugating this. We're not going to be fluent, not at all, but we're going to be way ahead. So please practice this a lot. And remember, yo agarro el lápiz is the same as saying agarro el lápiz without the pronoun. Tú agarras un cuaderno, agarras un cuaderno. Usted agarra un cuaderno, agarra un cuaderno. Ustedes agarran un cuaderno, agarran un cuaderno, and so on. Okay? So far, so good? Let me know, please. Let me know. Give me some feedback. And now we move to 
the third regular verb of tonight's class, which is ahorrar, to save, ahorrar. This one also belongs to the first column, verbs ending in ar, 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 ar. And the root of the verb is a-h-o-r-r, ahor. -R. One, one other thing. The R in English sounds way different than our R. It's funny because for you, Spanish, uh, I mean English speakers, it's tough to get used to the rolling tongue rrr, and the and the soft R, like agarrare, agarrare. That's kind of hard at first. You don't you don't have to you don't have to worry that much. But then take your time in order to get. Uh, the, 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 the practice of the sound. Later, I'm going to try to uh, make a video explaining how to get that sound. The R for the R, the double R. In English, for us, Spanish speakers, well, for me it was easy because I have a very good ear, pretty much. Uh, but the R, the R, the English R, gives a lot of trouble to Spanish speakers. That's for sure. Anyways, two for two. So, uh, ahorrar. So, we're going to see that it works pretty much like this conjugation. Agarro, ahorro. Agarras, ahorras. Agarra, ahorra. The same thing, because we're just changing the, the AR for the, the, the corresponding ending according to the subject. Okay? So, ahorrar. Let's go with ahorrar. Yo ahorro. Yo ahorro dinero. Yo ahorro dinero. Right? For the future, to buy a house, I don't know. Tú. Ahorras. Ahorras. Be careful. Be careful. Because ahorra, ahora. This is quite different. Ahorra is the verb. Ahora is now. Ahora. Ahorra, ahora. Conjuga uh, pronunciation stuff. Um, Dylan, es con mucho gusto. Es con mucho gusto y gracias por tu feedback. Thanks for commenting. I'm, uh, I really appreciate that. And I, I'm, I'm doing my best in order to give you the tools to become fluent, uh, to be able to communicate and remember. Remember. First, above all, perfect kills good. Remember that. Perfect kills good. Worry about getting the, the, the grasp on the foundations, pronunciation, stuff like, stuff like that. But start, start building sentences. Try and start talking. Don't worry if you're making mistakes. We learn by making mistakes. And... Uh, do, do not worry on sounding perfect. Perfect kills good. Always. So, hopefully, this is going to be a very interesting journey for all of us. I'm going to do my best in order to bring you uh, whatever you need for, for, for the, in order to achieve that goal. So, tú ahorras. Él ahorra. Él ahorra. Tú ahorras. Tú ahorras tiempo. Tú ahorras tiempo. Él ahorra energía. Él ahorra energía. Eh, ella ahorra agua. Very simple sentences, remember. Because right now, our goal is to focus on conjugation. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just... Um, uh, Focusing on, uh, focusing on conjugation. Yeah. Uh, ahorra energía. Nosotros ahorramos. Um, what else we can say? Money, time, energy, water, resources, recursos. Nosotros ahorramos recursos. And ellos ahorran espacio. That's it. You see how easy it is. 
I mean the conjugation. It's quite the same as we did here. Agarro, ahorro. Agarras, ahorras. Agarra, ahorra. Because of that little table, this little table that I have here, I'm going to try and do this every, every time we have class, but I now I think, okay, I think maybe this is going to give us trouble with some of the sentences, but hopefully not really. Okay, so, yo ahorro dinero, tu ahorro dinero. For usted, oops, sorry. Usted ahorra tiempo. Tiempo. Eh, ustedes ahorran tiempo. Vosotros ahorráis tiempo. Ahorráis. So, I'm, I'm not so good. I'm, I'm, I'm good with Spanish above average. Sometimes uh, the, the accents give me a hard time. Sometimes, not always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ellas ahorran espacio. And we have that ahorrar conjugated in simple present for all of the uh, uh, pronouns. Yo ahorro dinero. I save money. Tú ahorras tiempo. You save time. Usted ahorra tiempo. You save time. Ustedes ahorran tiempo. You save time. Vosotros ahorráis tiempo. You save time. Remember, I'm from Colombia. I'm from Latin America. We never use vosotros. We use usted, ustedes, and tú. That's it. We never use. But maybe you want to go and travel to Spain. I don't know. If I can help you with that. Well, not with the money because I don't know. Bad joke. Anyways, this is how you say in Spain, in Spain, if you were in Spain. Vosotros ahorráis. And él ahorra energía. He saves uh, energy. Ella ahorra agua. She saves, she saves water. Ahorra energía. It saves energy. Again, energy, sorry. Um, nosotros ahorramos recursos. We save resources. Ellos ahorran espacio. They save room or space. I don't know why room sounds kind of better to me. Anyways. Ellas ahorran espacio. Uh, they also save room or they save, save space. That's it. Ahorro dinero, ahorras tiempo without the pronouns. Exactly the same. And let's do this one. Amar. Amar. Once again, the first column. Quite easy. Amar. And let's paint this red because am, that would be the root. And we're going to change the... Um, we're going to change the, um, the, um, the ending of the word depending on the... Yo amo a mi familia. Remember, tonight we are just focusing on the conjugation. Later we will have plenty of time to do uh, the analysis of the um, articles, the uh, possessive pronouns, uh, the, the adjectives. Don't worry. Tonight, our very first live streaming class is going to be or is, or is about regular verb conjugation rules. And we need to practice that a lot. I mean, you. We, but you. Okay? So, <laughs> yo amo mi familia. Tú amas a tu familia. Well, uh, let's say, uh, tú amas, tú amas a tu perro. A tu mascota. Because, I don't know, perhaps you have a dog or a pet or, or a fish or a tur turtle, a snake. I don't know. Él ama eh, tocar la guitarra. Ella ama ese vestido. Ama salir de paseo. Eh, nosotros amamos eh, comer pizza. 
Ellos aman a sus esposas. And we have the sentences. Yo amo. Tú amas. Él ama. Ella ama. Ama. Nosotros amamos. Ellos aman. And of course, here we have. Usted ama a su mascota. Can you see how, how with the usted, el tú, the tú also changes? The possessive changes because the possessive, it's directly related to the pronoun. If the pronoun changes, the possessive changes. Don't worry, we'll get to that eventually. Looking forward to having you here in future classes. Angela, thanks for commenting. Uh, sure, sure, that's the idea, Angela. This is this is this is gonna be, I think, a series of videos in which I, I think that's gonna be maybe eight or five, maybe five, six videos in which we are going to conjugate all this in in basic sentences. Because I want to give you that for your practice and for your reference. The idea is for you to to get a hold on this. Get a hold or get a grasp. Okay. Anyways, to understand, don't worry. I I, I mean I, I do apologize if sometimes I uh, drift away or something. Anyways, the idea here is for you to understand how the conjugation works with these verbs. In simple present, to learn by practicing sentences, basic sentences, silly sentences, don't worry, but that give you that's going to give you the skills for later build more complex sentences. We're going to do this with these verbs because I want to I want to have that for you. And then we're going to go with the simple past. We're going to go with the simple future. In fact, we have two different kinds of pasts. And that's uh, in, in the other video in which I briefly explain. Well, I do the explanation, but I go with three verbs maybe uh, for each tense. So, yes, Angela. Um, okay. Dylan, gracias. Once again, I'm starting and I'm very glad to see how this channel has been, grow has been growing for the past month or so. Uh, I do have another channel, which is in Inglés Fácil con Mike, in which I teach English to Spanish speakers. I've been with that channel for almost five years now. Uh, and the last, last year, I think, we passed the the 100,000 subscribers and I remember that with that channel I took over a year to, to get the 1,000 subscribers. With this channel I reached that in, in, three, in three weeks. That was so, so freaking unbelievably fast and I was so, so glad even like with four videos that I had so I decided I, I want to go all in. I'm all in here. So um, I really appreciate your support by having your like, uh, your likes, uh, your subscription. That that really that really helps a lot, and that encourages me to keep on bringing this kind of material. So uh, trust me, as far as you are there, I'm gonna do as much as I can whatever it takes in order to bring you quality quality resources and this is going to be for me a lot of practice with my english skills too because uh, i need to speak a lot and think a lot in in english so um okay so let's let's go with this uh, usted ama a su mascota ustedes aman a sus remember it changes according to the pronoun mascotas and if we were in Spain, vosotros amáis a vuestras. Ah, interesting. Vuestras mascotas. That's if you're in Spain, once again. If you are in Spain. And ellas aman a sus esposos. Wow. Esposos. So what have we done so far uh we should go with with aprender just to finish with the a don't you think what do you think we still have 
time, right? Do you feel like uh, practicing with aprender? Who says yes? Who says sí? Um, if you're if if you don't have time, maybe okay. Dylan says yes. So let's go with aprender, and that that's gonna be it for tonight. And remember, this very first class we're going very slowly in order to get. Uh, um, is it is it okay if I say to get a hold on this? I think to get a hold is mostly when I'm calling somebody, right? Anyways, to understand, to get used to the conjugation, to learn this this stuff. So aprender, aprender, aprender would be the second column uh, that would be here. Let me check. Aprender. Oh, I'm starting to have issues with the video. Shoot, communication. Oh, anyways, not not not. Let, let's let's finish with this. Aprender. The root would be aprend. Aprend. That would be the root A P R E N D. Aprend. Okay. Thank you, Dylan. So let's get a let's get a hold on this. Aprender would be the second column. Remember, we we are going to use the second column, and we start with yo yo aprendo español con Mike. This is this is a longer sentence but i i had to do this so yo aprendo español con mike okay tú aprendes a nadar él aprende muchas cosas ella aprende a bailar aprende trucos nuevos nosotros aprendemos a conducir ellos aprenden rápido and that's it that's pretty easy right it once you get used to this it becomes easier and the more you practice the easier it gets and the more skilled you get so remember practice makes perfect and remember perfect kills good so don't worry about going that much easy no rush focusing on little things so usted aprende a nadar ustedes aprenden a nadar Vosotros aprendéis a nadar. And that's it. Aprendéis. Shoot. Yeah. I'm not from Spain, so this is not a word that I use so often. That's the reason why I'm giving trouble. I'm having trouble with the, with the accent here. Con la tilde. And ellos would be ellas aprenden rápido. And we have. Oops. We have. Yo aprendo español con Mike. I learn, I learn Spanish with Mike. Tú aprendes a nadar. You learn to swim or you learn how to swim, right? Again, usted aprende a nadar. You learn how to swim. Ustedes aprenden a nadar. You learn how to swim. Vosotros aprendéis a nadar. You learn how to swim. Él aprende muchas cosas. He learns a lot of things. He learns a lot of things. Ella aprende a bailar. She learns how to dance. Aprende trucos nuevos. It learns new tricks. Nosotros aprendemos a conducir. We learn how to drive. Ellos aprenden rápido. They learn fast. Ellas aprenden rápido. They learn fast. So, uh, in a nutshell, what we've done tonight is basically conjugating. Basically conjugating regular verbs in the simple present tense things to 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 keep in mind first do not worry too much about this part let's not worry about that yet you can start trying to build your own sentences remember that in the in the other video in which i explained the verb conjugation rules because that's there already i le i left in the in the um, description of the video i left the link for a PDF that you can download from my English with Mike, uh, English Facil Mike website, 
I just left the link in which you can get there and download that in which you're going to find these tables for all of the tenses, examples for all of the tenses, and that's for you. And also, there you will find a list of a lot of regular verbs and this list of the 56 most uh, used regular verbs in Spanish. If you want, you can go there, that's for free. You can just go there and click on the link and download the PDF for you to start practicing. Please practice, practice this. Focus on this part. And remember, try to do that with and without the pronoun because that's how we do in Spanish, okay? As you are working on this, you will be forced to look for vocabulary. Remember, we need to learn vocabulary. Any, 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 any intelligent language is basically a matter of patterns. If I understand the pattern, the pattern, I can build sentences based on that pattern, but I need vocabulary. I need words to fill the blanks. So work on that a lot. Try to mirror the pronunciation because this is a video that's gonna stay there on the channel. Try to, to mirror the, the, the pronunciation and try to do this every day on a daily basis. Hopefully, I'm going to have my new uh, ISP service tomorrow. Hopefully. With that, I'm pretty much sure that I won't have uh, connectivity issues ever. So, uh, I don't know. What do you think if we can do class either Friday? I don't think Friday is the best day. But maybe I, I, had, I had Tuesdays uh, and uh, Wednesdays. I think it was yeah Tuesday and Tuesday Tuesdays or Wednesdays as as the options for live classes around this time 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Colombian time which would be would be 9 p.m. 9 p.m. New York time and if I'm not mistaken 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time so it's pretty much easy for people in the in this continent so um, luckily we're gonna get somewhere with this. So, do you have any questions? Do you have any comments? Do you have any feedback, maybe? I would like to know, because we're wrapping up right now. I do have my cellular phone here, just in order to... Brenda, welcome, Infinitive. Yeah. Right, right now, Brenda, we're working on simple present. Simple present. ED, it's the past. ING is gerund in, in Spanish. In, in English, you have the, uh, the present participle and gerund. In Spanish, we only have gerund. That's it. But we're going to get there. Remember, we're, we're going to go... Uh, we, can, we can talk about this later, Serena. If you're having issues more than glad to help you with this remember serena is a friend of mine uh is a is a um, is a friend of mine oh yeah but i just gotta so uh, is is the audio also cutting in and out i know the video but is the audio also cutting in and out because if so we can we can try and once i have my my best connection uh then i can do and and go over this class again or at least to the uh, through the exercises. Anyways, don't worry. Um, I also have some connectivity issues at the end, but other than that, okay, okay. Luckily, next class is not going to be like that. It's going to be way better. So um, I really appreciate you for taking the time and staying with me tonight, Friday night, learning Spanish. That's not gonna, that's not going to be. Uh, uh, that's going to be only. That was just for tonight because. I realized I had some kind of a good connection and then we had we had we okay as long as the audio is okay don't worry about the video don't worry about the video because it stays there and as long as you can understand and hear the the, the explanation well anyways uh, connection is going south so <laughs> uh, it's time for me to say goodbye once again if you like that if you like the video please like it of course, you know what to do. 
share with your friends, groups, social media. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's going to keep you posted on every new video that I'm posting every week. Maybe one, two videos per week I'm going to be posting now. And also, that's going to let you participate in the chat during the live uh, streaming classes. That's interesting and that's useful because that way you can ask questions. And eventually, I'm going to give away free classes for the ones who participate in the chat. Let's say, uh, let's say, Serena, you have a free class tonight. I mean, not tonight or this week. Anyways, but uh, eventually we're going to do that. So... Um, and that's also going to help us keep on growing to see if we can match the 100,000 subscribers. I don't know in how long, but anyways, as long as you, you can find these resources useful and hopefully, Angela, if you, if you check, there's another video here in my, uh, on my channel, which is called uh, Regular Verb Conjugation Rules. Check it out. And in the description, you will find the link. You will find the link in the description. Let me see if I can leave the link right away. I mean, right here, sorry. Uh, give me just a second, table, table, ciao. Give me just a second to see if I can do that real quick. Uh, ba -ba -ba, I'm getting the worst connection now. Uh, regular, 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 verbo regulares, verbo regulares. Whoops, sorry. Give me just a second, I think I can get it right here. Uh, okay, conjugating regular verbs, that's the name of the video. It says it's called Mastering Regular Verb Conjugation in Spanish. And both in the description and the first comment is the link to the PDF. Anyways, I'm going to give it to you right here, right now. Check the chat window. Boom. That's it. There you can download the PDF. And um, once again, thanks a lot for being here tonight with us. I uh, really appreciate that. Looking forward to seeing you uh, next class. I'll let you know. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, the uh, community tab on the channel. And see you later. Have a great night. And keep on studying. Me alegra mucho haberlos visto. Gracias por estar aquí. Sigan estudiando, sigan aprendiendo. Y nos vemos en la próxima clase. Bye, bye.